Here at the Hoboken Housing Authority, I bring an exclusive interview with Executive Director Carmelo Garcia. As you're well aware, there was a report in the Star-Ledger in regards to Mayor Zimmer and the affordable housing project that uh, she did not approve of here in Hoboken. And certainly, I'm sure you're disappointed to know that uh, 44 units could have possibly been built uh, with affordable housing and uh, she did not approve of that though. What exactly is at the heart of this map? It was very upsetting and frustrating that we worked so hard to execute our plans to meet our goal. We had the full board of commissioners approve unanimously over and over and giving me authorization to proceed with the execution of this plan. Lo and behold, I think the heart of it was that the mayor was upset with regards to the fact that A, she would have preferred market housing on one end, and secondly, the fact that we were going back and forth because of the issues with the professionals, where she wanted you know, the politically connected professionals to be a part of the housing authority um, administration. The mayor killed this project ultimately, and again, these are her own words, because she saw some serious design flaws. What design flaws is she alleging, and is, is this a credible accusation by the mayor? It is not. Clearly, the mayor is not an architect, nor an engineer, nor a planner, and at the end of the day, we had the professionals who are renowned and who are distinct in their uh, discipline basically put forth a solid plan, one that once we had selected the developer, they acknowledged and understood and agreed what we wanted from this new project. So her killing it on the basis of design flaws, that was all nonsense. Just to be very clear, because again, another, another accusation by the mayor is that you failed to discuss the project with her administration. I mean, I would have to believe that there's been some ongoing dialogue between you and the mayor concerning this, though. So when you hear the mayor allege that, how does that make you feel? I rate because we've been di dialoguing on this since 2011. As a matter of fact, it was the mayor's representative, the director of community development that went with us to Newark to receive an award on behalf of the New Jersey Futures Organization for the most comprehensive strategy revitalization plan that was put forth. And that was in a competition. And we had invited the mayor to join us. She sent her representative. At the same time, we had multiple meetings in 2012 keeping her abreast of what was going on, particularly in February of 2012 when our professional, Dr. Paul, who joined me, was able to explain what we were pursuing. And, and that's when she had asked to look into, you know, putting market rate housing versus replacing the existing low-income housing. Now, a Superior Court judge dismissed a lawsuit that you had filed earlier last year. Um, it, to the best of my knowledge, I, I believe you have refiled that lawsuit. And now, uh, where does it stand? Right now where it stands, uh, it's going through its legal proceedings. It is something that is dear to me based on what I have undergone in the retaliation, the hostile work environment that I was exposed to, that I'm continuously uh, having to deal with and battle with uh, City Hall and certain commissioners who are aligned with the mayor. At the end of the day, what I'm looking at right now is for justice. I'm looking to have a equal, a equal understanding of what our needs are, why they should be supporting such a great project for the housing authority residents who are, of course, the most neediest and the underprivileged within the community of Hoboken. And at the same time, if you look at the story that had come out in the uh, Jersey Journal and the Star Ledger, you know, Mr. Marquetta himself, the executive director of the New Jersey Home Mortgage Finance Agency, acknowledges that they had already approved our project, they had the funding ready to go for us on a shovel-ready basis, and it was the mayor who killed it. She blocked it, and that's why they had to pull the plug on it. So one must ask themselves, why? It was only always political. It wasn't on the basis of any meritorious reasons. Like I said, you know, the professionals, we had a backup generator. It was ADA compliant. The building was sandy proof, elevated above the 13 feet floodplain. So we had all of the mechanics in order because we invested a lot of time into making sure that the building would be sandy proof. Thank you so much for watching. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com. I'm Fernando Uribe, coming to you from Hoboken, and as always, stay classy, everyone.